Okay, finally. Finally. Finally, we're here at the sound activated scrubber. Um, let's see if we can make this go. So these are all pieces that we've shown in this sort of cluster of screencasts about sound responsivity. And everything in here is from just copied and pasted from previous uh, smaller demos. So we've got our sound input here, the microphone sending data through, uh, sending audio data, real-time audio data through uh, multiply by one, which lets us you know, amplify it if we want to. Uh, peak amp. I've set the peak amp here to be way higher, 2000. Mm -hmm. So um, because I'm going to use my Q Metro, you can drive peak amp with a Q Metro. So I'm going to use Q Metro, it's specifically Q Metro, not Metro. Right. So this is what we talked about before. Q Metro is really good when you want it to go as fast as it can go, but not try to go faster than that. So we're going to put it in a low priority Q. That's going to help us actually get higher performance out of it, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Uh, but that's how it works. That's how it works. All right, so we'll turn on Q Metro. Now you should see my voice immediately here. We're going to smooth that out a bit. Um, yeah, okay, that's nice and smooth. Um, is that loud enough? So let's actually use our multiplier here and, make it, and uh, make it a little louder. All right, there we go. So multiply it by about two and smooth it a little more. And then you can see what nice smooth values coming out of the microphone. Um, all right, so now we've got this Sunflower movie. And I'm going to load it up and it's already working so I need to get the frame count of my sunflower movie here so 1878 oh I've already set that up okay so we're scaling this uh, the values coming out of smoother are ranging from 0 to 1 you can see it here I thought we put this in but I guess we didn't um, so yeah those values range from about 0 f meaning quiet to 1 meaning loud um, and we're scaling them because we have 1,877 frames. This is 1878, but you actually have to use one less than that for some weird reason. So 1877. So we're taking our zero quiet up to one loud, mapping that to the first frame, frame one, all the way up to frame 1877. So if I'm loud, as loud as it can get, it's gonna go to frame 1877, which is the plant all the way grown up. Um, now we also want to clip our values so that we don't go past 1877 because that that would cause the movie player to loop back around to the beginning. Right. So um, we want to clip our values between 1 and 1877. We take the clipped values up here to frame dollar sign one bang, which we talked about before. So that goes directly to a given frame that you're requesting. And then comma bang causes jit.movie to output that frame to the player window. Um, what else? Oh, the only, cute, you got to talk about the, yeah. Right. So in order to do scrubbing really well on the Mac, you need to use the QuickTime engine. So in Macs, under preferences, you have uh, engine. So where's the, where's the video engine? AVF. So the default jitter engine, video engine right here is called AVF. I think it stands for Advanced Video Format or something like that. One of the engines that you have access to is called QT. I believe this you have to have QuickTime installed. On the Mac, you always have QuickTime installed by default. If you're running under Windows, you may not have QuickTime installed. Um, but on the Mac, QT is this, it's just extremely high performance with uh, when you're working with photo JPEG compressed files. So if you, if you combine PJPEG compressed video with the QT engine, you get like outrageous speed from right. it, just really, really fast. And because you don't want to have to change it in the settings. Right, you can change it per instance. So you can have this jit.movie will use the engine QT. If you made another one, the default would be AVF. AVF is a perfectly good, I mean, AVF is good. Uh, Vittles, okay, I think I've installed that. Uh, HAP is another one. So this is gonna change, I think, with quick t with, when Max 8 comes out, there's gonna be a new one. Mm. I can't remember what they're calling it. But I think it's probably going to be as fast as QT with the advantages of these other ones, too. I'm excited about Max 8 coming out yeah. because of they're coming out with a new engine. Um, all right, but it defaults to AVF. This one is going to use QT because I told it to. Um, and also, it's only outputting unique frames, so that should help with performance a little bit, too. We're using this uh, FPS GUI thing to tell us how many frames per second we're getting. Um, all right, so... And if you wanted to go to full screen... Ah, yes, full screen. So... And then which we you have did to talk about before, let's, but yeah, let's turn. So we're using the twenty-seven uh, key, which is the escape key, mm -hmm. uh, to to toggle in and out of full screen. And then we actually have to gate it because we have multiple items in this selection of tutorials. 
that use the escape key. So I'm going to need to turn the gate on. I, ordinarily, I wouldn't use this gate here. I just go for straight from full screen to JIT.window. And then we're, we have our, our JIT.window called plant, and we're going to FS menu bar, zero that to turn off the menu bar and the Mac dock when we go to full screen mode. Um, and the escape key is going to let us toggle in and out of full screen mode. So let's go to full screen and see if this plant responds to our voice the way we want. So, okay. Grow! Yeah, it works good. Grow! Grow. I like how it's just kind of pulsing there. Right? Da da. Da da. Da da. Da da. Grow. <laughs> Grow. <laughs> it's like a toy. It's <laughs> so great. Okay, so that's a way, you know, it, the, the content really helps here because our content is right. like progressing. It's like growing forward. If you had content that you could easily put content in here, it wouldn't make any sense it what we're doing. Yeah. But this content makes sense because the louder you are, the bigger the thing gets. It's kind of cool. Brilliant. Yeah. And we can make it smoother. You can see here, if I make it much smoother, almost all the way up here, then you can just really, you can feel the difference. So now it, it's still growing uh, according to my voice. Actually, it's not bad. But it, nothing happens as immediately as before. So like if I'm quiet all of a sudden, it kind of like sucks back in. I like that. That's actually not bad at all. But if we made it, watch what happens if we make it completely instantaneous. So I'll turn off smoothing altogether. And it's just terrible. It's just terrible. This is where I was saying the smoothing makes everything yeah. work. Like this, without the smoother, this just doesn't make any sense at all. So let's smooth our values out a little bit. Smooth it out. There we go. Make it grow. All right. Say goodbye. <laughs> okay, that's it. Wait, did we forget anything? No, that was it. Okay. <laughs>